Did you know that Fred and Wilma Flintstone, Flintstone, well, they had a dog named Dino, but he wasn't a dog. He was a dinosaur. So you guys were dinosaurs before you were dogs. Yeah. How come they didn't have a dog on Gilligan's Island? Do you know? Because it was a three-hour tour. You know, they had all kinds of money and clothes. They didn't have a dog. Do you think it would have been better if they'd have had a dog on Gilligan's Island? Do you think? Talking to you, boy. He don't give a crap. And what about you? Sitting up here in your biscuit, licking on your paws. <sighs> Welcome to the channel. Getting ready to hook up the electric to the dog apartment. I hope. And I hope this camera holds out. Uh, I shot the whole morning walk video. No good. I dropped it yesterday and it hasn't worked right since. So hopefully this thing hangs on. Otherwise, all I have is my cell phone. And I don't even know how to get that to the computer. I haven't never used that cell phone. So we just hope this GoPro holds out. It's the only thing I got. Gonna have to get a new one, I guess. Uh, it's not shooting right. Uh, man, I don't need this. But anyway, I'm gonna get out here and get this electric hooked up. Yesterday afternoon, went in the kitchen, got that all wired up right. They are all correct now. So, I'm gonna have to drill the hole through the house and get the PVC run and get that wire through there. And maybe see if we can get to the plumbing. Now, before I get to the plumbing, we're actually moving the uh, washer and dryer. I need to get some cement and fix this because all the water is pouring inside there. And I can't have that. I don't know if you can see. But I need to build that out. Definitely. That shouldn't be too hard. I'll just put some flashing against the, out of the building and then build that at a slight slope and that should cure that. Thank you for putting your butt in the way there, Lily. All right, let's get to work. All right, before I move forward with anything, first thing I need to do is get this wall attached the way it's supposed to be. I gotta get this cut at an angle so that will drop up in there so I can screw it down. Also at the top, hell, those aren't even stuck in there hardly. Yeah, they are. I think I see it too, I don't know. But I gotta get this tidied up and then we can then we can go from there. Then I'm gonna drill a hole uh, right above this rim joist that's inside here, straight across here. So we'll get that done. All right, guys, we're gonna try to shimmy up very, very, very tight working space in here. We're gonna try to shimmy up this ladder. <laughs> One good thing is, you can't fall off the ladder because you, <laughs> you ain't nowhere to fall. I can barely get up this thing. There's no room. All right, how am I gonna do this? I've got a piece of metal sticking in my back. There we go. All right, now you can probably see that angle that I have to cut this T111 at. Let's get this out of the way. Hopefully this jigsaw is all I need. Uh, I see that's gonna be an issue. I got this in the way. I think. Well. Well. Shooty shoot. Sawzall ain't gonna work either. Uh, don't tell me I gotta get a handsaw in there. Why, why is things always gonna be so difficult? I don't even know if I got a small handsaw like that. I do got the multi-tool. Thank God I have that. Let me go get it. All right, got the multi-tool here. This is gonna be the only option. Take the battery out of that. See what I'm having to deal with here. Very tight spot. All this has got to get tidied up. Right, let me shimmy on up. 
thing. All right, one more step. All right, let's try this one. Save my butt I don't know how many times. Now we can push this in and screw it down properly. Why didn't I bring my drill? It's in here. We just got to put a screw here. Where's the other? I don't know if there's even anything to screw to here. Yeah, there's a stud right there. All right, so get these secured, couple in here. Then we're going to go across the top. Boy, it must have been hot if I didn't do the top. And see, we don't really have to worry about water getting in here because there's a roof up here. And then, and then it's got this eave, which also has a roof above that. So it has not got any moisture in here except for whatever blows in through that hole. And that's not good. I got to get that patched up. Uh, I, I'll just put a piece of tin or something over that for now. But right now, I want to focus on getting a hole drilled right through here. Probably right in here is where the pipe will go. Somewhere in here where this wire is coming out. And then this should be the top of the eight foot uh, wall. And this is a uh, rim joist on top of a sill plate. So if I drill right through this, I ought to hit it. All right, let me go down and get the drill. Or the drill and all that other good stuff. C-130s, should be four of them. Sometimes I counted 18 one time. There's another. Sometimes there's three, sometimes there's only two. all going to Fort Smith. That's where they got a base. And number four. Right there. skinny butt in there <laughs> yeah right all right this is what i wanted to use that's two inch and this is what i'm going to end up using because i didn't get the right hole saw this is actually like two and three eighths i've got a two and an eighth drill bit i needed a two and a half or two and five eighths man but this will work for the electrical and i should be able to get both pecs through there i hope we'll check it out uh. all right i got the hole cut through both sides it's going now connected to the old laundry room i'm gonna have to feed this wire back through and then just kind of pull it on the outside here but what i'll do is i'll get a junction box to put over that 
so where it looks electrical and has the right fittings but uh i couldn't come i couldn't get it right where i really wanted it there just was nowhere to go on the other side but tell you what man i had a scare i thought i was gonna burn the place down when i was using the hole saw i mean here's the problem with battery powered tools they do not have the power and the speed of electric tools so when you're using a hole saw on wood they're not going as fast as they should and it it made that wood that wood hot and i had smoke like crazy i sprayed the hose all up in there because the smoke lingered forever in that little cubby hole so i wasn't sure i ran inside and nothing's on fire thank god but man that, that gave me a scare so i mean i was already thinking well what if it's on fire i'm gonna have to leash up waldo and lily and get them away but i'm cool but yeah I, i'm gonna use a electric saw on wood using a hole saw from now on they got a lot more power uh, the, these battery power don't just don't have the speed so all right i'm gonna feed this wire back through get it through the hole we'll get it over to the uh service panel and get it wired up and I'll worry about making it pretty later, as I always do. All right, we got the wire fed through. Now we go over the other side, drill a few holes in the uh, floor joist up there, and then run it to the box. And they make a box, or it's a, I don't know what you call them. It's a elongated box that this will feed up into, and then it will connect to the PVC. And it'll look real good. Uh, there was just no way I could... I'd have to drill like into the PVC to feed it up through there. I'm not going to do that. So we'll do it that way. That way in the future, if I want to tap into that, it's there as a power source. And that, that's probably the best way to do it. And uh, there's all, there's connections you can put on the end of these with that are threaded that will uh, attach these to the wall. But for now, because when I put that piece in, I'm going to have to cut that anyway. So that's uh, what I'm going to do. Cause I want to get them power. I want to get this going in here. All right. All right. If you can see up in there, that's where it's coming out. I've got plenty of wire. I got a. There's already a hole drilled in that one. I got to drill a hole in there. Drill a hole in that one. That one and that one. Then I can feed it down into the box. And what I'm doing in the future is I'm going to build a, a panel around this. I am even thinking of moving this window into the center of the room. Because it, it's crazy over here. I don't really want it there. I don't know yet. That'd be a lot of work. But, yeah, I'm going to cover this up. There's really no way. with. I'd have to add new wires everywhere. Man, I ain't doing it. And also later today, I'm going to disconnect the uh, refrigerator from that junction box and run it on its own. I got two new breakers right here. And I'll hook them up on a separate dedicated line. And all the outlets now will be good, wired correctly, and that's cool. So let me get these drilled. That'll take just a few seconds, and we'll feed this wire through and get them some electricity. Well, I had a rat trap right there. As you can see, it is gone. And I hear some scuffling up in there, so I guarantee you he's caught in that trap. I can't get up high enough to look in there, but I'll have to go out and get the ladder, but... Uh, good i hope that's what i got something got it i had a hot dog on that thing and uh hopefully he got it all right i'm gonna hit the main breaker turn this off as you can see just had just enough because we're coming down to this break about right in here is where i'm gonna set that so we got just enough to make it perfect so all right let me get the main breaker everything should be off i got my tester let me go ahead and get this panel unscrewed all right covers off i bought me a tester that's hot now this is a sub panel from one outside uh shut off outside so i'm gonna go cut that off as well i don't want any juice flowing through here you see it's it's good down there but what if i slip and accidentally hit that so we're gonna go outside and hit it all right you can see out there that was the original box which i had the rv hooked to and the two lines that came into the house and then i ran a sub panel from that 
now there's no no electrical anywhere so we can proceed okay all right we've got that breaker wired for the dog apartment and it's this one here you always want to leave a lot extra just in case in the future you want to change these around or move a breaker down you've got plenty of wire to do that i've got my ground to the ground board and the neutral to the neutral board and the hot to the breaker now i'm going to take this cover off i'm going to disconnect that 12 2 from that junction box well not from the junction box from that uh, 10 2 wire and i'm going to run a separate piece into that box so this will go on its own dedicated breaker right here all right i'll be back all right now i've got the refrigerator hooked uh separate now all i gotta do is hook it to the uh service panel i use this some of these uh wago connectors i don't know if i like them or not we'll try them out on this uh i didn't use them on the ground though all right let me hook this up to the box and we're good actually i'm gonna run this up and behind here like i and i did take the opportunity to do that with that one which was in front so eventually i want all these behind the board okay everything's wired up this is the uh cell phone extender gotta do something with that uh got everything in there pretty neat i've seen worse i've got my grounds I've, this is the refrigerator's new breaker and this is the dog apartment that thing should be okay all right so i'm gonna slap the cover back on we're gonna turn the power on see what we got i gotta find this cover i can't find it imagine that all right power's back on outside let's put this one on damn we got power let's turn on the fridge uh, okay the fridge is on <laughs> that wasn't the fridge yeah it had to have been no it was this it was this light i, I wired the wrong one to the separate deal uh, let's turn the apartment on that ain't good We got something wrong in there. All right. All right. I don't think there's anything wrong with the wiring. I flipped this breaker, nothing happens. But look here. All these other ones. Even this one. This one's not even being used. It's off. nothing it's either a bad breaker or something's up with the wiring let me look at it all right let's see what happens i moved it from there up to here my goodness where's my tester <sighs> why is this off I hit it accidentally. Well, it didn't trip, and it came on right. I know I got that wired out there right. I know it. So that bar is bad. I don't think I've ever encountered that, but let's go see what we got out there. Let me find my outlet tester. All right, guys. Nothing. What on earth, man? Could be that ball's burning out too. I need my outlet tester. Can't find it. Get down, boy. You got no power to this. Why? Why is it dead? Uh. There we have it, guys. We got power. Let me show you what it was. And this way, 
Uh, maybe some of you won't have to go through what I did. This, as I said, this 10-2 is thick. It's hard to work with. And what was wrong, I had twisted all four of the blacks together, but they didn't have good contact. So what I ended up doing was taking a two thick wires from this 10-2 and running a pigtail on it. I know, a lot of pigtails. And that I ran a pigtail here. This is hot, so I gotta be careful. And then I ran that to these two, which that was it. I mean, just the slightest little, uh, you know, could be loose and it looked tight. I unscrewed the wire cap and they were all connected. I didn't see anything wrong. I'm like, and then I redid the neutrals the same way and that was it. So obviously I'm not going to test this because until I get this buttoned up. So let's go over here and test this one. I knew I had stuff wired right. Correct. Uh, now what? So we ain't got we got a dead outlet. <laughs> ah! Yeah, and again, that's that thick stuff. I'll get that fixed now that I know. Let's go out and see if we got any juice. I know the light works. <laughs> well it did. I got issues, but I had it on. All right, man. I'm going to try this one more time. Well, that was good. This thing has got me, man. I think... I just don't know. <laughs> I hope what I've done fixed it. Oh, yeah. All right. We know both of these work. Correct. Well, at least you got a nightlight, Lily. Yeah, let's check this one. This one didn't work last time. Oh, she's correct this time. She's correct this time. We'll go out and check the one on that one here in a minute. I just pulled that light out. It, you know, the light was on. And then when I turned it out and it wouldn't come back on it through the breaker, that told me there was something wrong in there or something wrong with the light itself. So I just directly wired these two back together and uh yeah i think <laughs> i think this thing's seen better days so i eliminated the light for now we do have power i can run this light here with that without running this extension cord down here i can pull this out now and uh i'll just buy another new light because this was an old one that's been tossed around for several years now who knows because I, I tore into that, and I'm not sure what I did in there was the problem, because the light came on. Well, no, it, it maybe it was at first. I, I just really don't have no way to know. But I made sure when I did these that everything was tight and twisted good, and man, I, so it had to bend that light the whole time, and I'll have to put a cover on that. I'll just go pick up a light tomorrow, and uh, let's go check this one out here. This place is such a mess from doing all this this is my patio please work i don't want to deal with this anymore what is this all right let me see what this fault it means on the right i can't see that Hot neutral reverse. There's no way. All right. <coughs> oh well. I didn't think I was gonna get this video finished today, guys. Obviously, I still gotta fix that. I don't know how I would have done that, but something's in there wrong. We'll get that fixed. Uh, man, this kicked my butt today. And uh, hang on, I got something to show y'all. All right, I got this package today. It's from Annie and Debbie in Yuma, Arizona. And look what they made me. Look at these cool cardboard cutouts. Colombian Supreme. That is neat. That's not it. Let's get some of this. Look at this wreath, guys. Oops. It's got milk bones on it. Let me see if I can get it out of here without breaking. Oh, some of it came off. But I'll fix it. 
Look at that, guys. You got milk bones. That's pretty cool. Thank you for that. Looks like it took a little beating in storage, but I'm going to fix that. I get the idea. And it was packed well, too. Boy, this thing's fragile. <laughs> Let me show you where I'm going to hang that, ladies. They say don't put it outside. I guess it's real milk bones. I'm going to hang it right there in the center of that. That way, you can see it from that window. Isn't that cool? All right. All right, guys. I hope this video wasn't too long, but I had to throw that in there. Uh, that was very nice of you guys, you, you girls, to make that for me. I appreciate that. I'm not real big on Christmas stuff, but I will definitely, I definitely like that. Because it has to do with the dogs. All right. Y'all, uh, this was a weird video. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Happy trails.